Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 133. <laughs> I got some finished objects to share with you guys and uh, two whips. And then I gotta hop off here because my shop update is going live in about 30 minutes and I got to uh, be there to update it. <laughs> but yeah, so I found my picture that my sister made me a while ago. She cross stitched it. So I set it up there. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it set in there or if I'm gonna hang it. But I just thought it'd be cute there for now. If I can not knock it over. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in because I gotta get this done before my video goes off. I mean my, my update goes off. So yeah, I got some finished objects to share with you. First one is an amigurumi. And you seen it last week if you watch my um, international holiday videos. And it is a rubber ducky. I think. <laughs> I wish I had a squeaker. That'd have been so cute to put a squeaker in there. But I don't know if you can buy those. I'm sure you can, just without a toy weaving around them. But I'm just noticing a chip in the wall over there in the paint, and I don't know how it got there. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so super cute. This is a free pattern by Olive at stringydingding.com. You can purchase the PDF if you'd like. It's only $2. Or you can just go to her website, which will be linked below, and do it for free. But yeah, it's super cute. It's called the 20 Minute Duck Pattern. And she's got in the pattern how to make it look like a flamingo or like a mallard duck. Uh, a seagull, I think, is one of them. A couple different things. But I just made a yellow one to go with Rubber Ducky Day. <laughs> that was last week. I just thought it was so cute. But it's a little uh, misshapen now because Jesse's been playing with it. He wanted it. <laughs> and um, but yeah, he's adorable. I love him. <laughs> Definitely check out Olive's uh, website. She's got so many cute uh, amigurumi patterns. And she has a membership that's only $6 a month. And you get access to her patterns when they come out uh, for just the $6. And there's a forum. And it's just a lot of fun to um, kind of have like a, almost like a, not a private because there's more than one person in there. But like a smaller community community why did I say this word <laughs> of people it's it's just a lot of fun but anyways there's a duck I'll set him up there that's where I had him the other day and Jesse stole him all right now I got three cows <laughs> to share with you okay so I did buy some bulky yarn the other day I had like a, a yarn haul and uh so I made some cows I got the uh big button cow gifted to me by rail at the Dablin Hook, she's the person who designed it uh, back when she first put it out, I, I believe. And um, so I, I think she gifted it to me. Someone gifted it to me. <laughs> but uh, so I wanted to make those with that big bulky yarn. So I used the purple, which I don't remember what it's called. I have the ball bands, but they're in the living room. I made the purple one. And it, I, I used about one and a half of the balls of yarn. It's Lion Brand Hometown, but I can't remember what the color is. But I didn't put a button on there. I don't have any big buttons. So I think it looks fine without a button. And then I also made the orange one. I think I was working on this last week. So I got two of those done. And those I'm just going to donate. So um, I'm probably not going to put buttons on there. Because they're just going to be for donations. So it would be probably easier to take care of without a button on there. And the button's purely uh, decorative because it's sewn together. So uh, yeah. Anyways, got those two done. And that is a paid for pattern by Rail at the Dablin Hook. I'll link it below. Um... I think it's her Etsy page. I can't remember if she has a Ravelry, but I'll link one of them below in the description box. So I popped them out pretty quick because they're made with uh, number six yarn and a big old hook. I can't remember what hook it was, but it was a big hook. <laughs> the next pattern is another cowl, but it was one that I was testing for Reggie over at J Hook uh, Crochet. <laughs> and uh, I think it used to say and more, but now it's just J Hook Crochet. But anyways, she asked me and a few other people to test this pattern for her, and I did. And I made it in the colors to go with Seda's um, calendar cow, so I could enter it in her calendar cow. Because she's doing cows. But anyways, here it is. This is called the Artemis cow. And it's paid for pattern. You, I, I really didn't pick the best colors for it, because there's a lot of texture. And you can't really see it because of the, the different colors. But I wanted to use those colors for the cow, <laughs> calendar cow. But it's really quick. I made it, I think, in one day. Um, just picking it up, you know, on and off throughout the day. And what I did is I held uh, one ball of Red Heart Ombre True Brew. Brew. True Blue. <laughs> and one ball of... It's either I Love the Sharn or Crafter's Secret. But it's called Arctic White. Together. And it took about half of each of those to make the entire cowl. And, uh, yeah. I did make mine shorter than hers. Round. Than the pattern because I like my cows closer to my neck 
than um than further away <laughs> but uh yeah so there's that it does have a lot of texture though you can see where there's like um third loop only so it makes it look like kind of like a knit stitch and then right here this whole section right here is like uh front and back post double crochets she's got a lot of texture in it you just i just didn't pick the best colors <laughs> to show that but uh it's still really pretty so i love it but there's that that's my last finished object i think i don't think i made anything else so i do have two active whips that i'm working on i have a couple whips that are hibernating <laughs> but i'm not gonna worry about them uh i'm just working on what i'm working on so the first one is another test pattern that i'm doing and this is for crystal over at chronically crocheting she just put out which well, hasn't put it out yet but she just made a cat a big cat amigurumi called mr perzalot <laughs> and she asked me if i would test it so i am working on that that's all i got so far <laughs> he looks like a bowl <laughs> but uh i'm using a i love this yarn chunky i think it's called and again i didn't bring the ball band in here it's all in there on my cart i just grabbed everything and came in here to record but um yeah, it's just a purple color. <laughs> it's the only number five that I had because these are all sixes and there, there's a four. I was hoping that was a five, that pink, but it's a four. So I got to, um, he's going to be purple color <laughs> and then I got to figure out something to do for his tail and ears because um, I don't think I'll have enough of this purple color to make all of his body parts, but I will try. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I got of him so far. He is super cute and then she'll be putting that pattern out uh, soon. So I'm trying to get that worked up for her real quick. And she also said that she's going to use the base of that to make other things with. So it's going to be cool to see um, what she makes. But uh, her pattern calls for 30 millimeter safety eyes, which are big old safety eyes. And I don't have any of those. I'd have to order them. But um, I'm kind of worried because of the mail <laughs> that it won't get here in time. So she told me I could just go ahead and crochet eyes. So I'll be uh, just coming up with some crochet eyes that look similar to the, the size of her safety eyes <laughs> i do need to purchase some larger safety eyes because sometimes i want to make amigurumis larger and i just have little safety eyes so i do need to try to find some good sets of uh different size larger ones for future use but yeah so that's that and the last whip that i'm working on is my heart square blanket and uh it's getting there here's squares collectively <laughs> they're all i i finished all the hearts the different color hearts and then I finished the second step with in the color so the whites have pink around them the reds have pink around them and the pink have red around them and what I did is because the pink yarn is thinner than the red and white I went up a hook size so the red and white parts are done just as playing with his Legos are done in the H hook and all the pink parts are done with the I hook and that that helped make them all the right size so that they're all they're all the same size so woo. so now for all these squares all I got to do is three more rounds of the squares but in different colors so I got to stripe it I'm gonna do it one at a time and then put them all together and do the border so hopefully it'll be done before next week before 134 <laughs> um, I've been working on a lot I've been watching the Waltons and just working on it and uh yeah so i got the hardest part done which was the third round here in pink uh takes more concentration <laughs> than the rest of it because the rest of it's mostly just like chains and double crochets so and then the next three um rounds around the square is i think half double crochet and double crochet only and then putting it together I haven't i haven't read that far in the patterns i don't know what it's like but uh so they're the squares are almost done and then putting the blanket together will take a little while but yeah i'm looking forward to getting this done and having it on my couch because i already got my valentine's day decorations out so i'd like to get this done and put up he's making a lot of noise in there he's playing with his legos <laughs> but that's all of my photos and whips this week i don't have any acquisitions with me i got one push that door through a little bit <laughs> i got one at my mom's but it's just a giant box of batting uh, I had to ship it to her house because it wouldn't come to my P.O. box. And I'm still waiting on my line brand order. I ordered it on January the 3rd and I still haven't gotten an email about it. The only email I got was the confirmation of the order. And then it says that it'll email me again when it ships. And I haven't gotten a single email. And it's kind of annoying because I've been seeing other people order and then get their yarn. So I did message them yesterday and I'm, I'm hoping they email me back. It took me forever to figure out how to contact them. Because um, it's not really easy to find on their website. But I emailed them and hopefully they will let me know something. <laughs> I know that coronavirus has got the, mail, the postal service all messed up. But um, they haven't even gotten my order 
shipped yet so it's like come on <laughs> and it says on their website that COVID's slowing them down and it's like well if it's slowing you down that bad quit taking orders until you get caught up but it says up there they're still taking orders and it's like if I was behind in my bag shop which I never do because I don't sell bags I haven't made yet um I would stop taking orders until I was caught up and then take orders again but they're just taking a ton of orders and not fulfilling any of them and I'm I want my yarn <laughs> I wish I'd hurry up but uh yeah <laughs> that's just that but i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because i gotta get this video edited and i got to get ready to do my shop update here in a little bit it's 11:34 my time right now and it's got my shop updates going live at 12 my time so i got a little while but uh i want to get this video edited and up so you can run over to the shop and check out and see if there's any bags over there it's um drawstring bags this time the next update will be tote bags and they will have pockets in them because i've been learning how to do pockets <laughs> but um just a warning the tote bags are probably going to be about a dollar more than normal because uh the pockets take extra fabric and extra time sewing so um i have to add on to the price of the bags because it takes more of fat you know materials and also more of my time to make so um yeah but uh i will let you guys know when the tote bags are ready. It's going to be a, a week or so. <laughs> I haven't even started cutting the fabric or anything. But uh, I think they'll be 16. Because I'm trying to keep my updates smaller. So I'm not so stressed. So I think it's going to be 16 totes, 30 drawstring bags. And then 16 totes, 30 drawstring bags, etc, etc. And maybe down the road I will make notion pouches and things. But right now I'm just sticking to what's easy for me. And um, what I enjoy making. I don't enjoy making notion pouches. <laughs> I've had a few people ask me about that. And I just don't enjoy making them, so I don't make them often. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's that's the plans for now. But I'm going to hop off here because i got to get going before time for my update. Oh, on my Fitbit. I know. I downloaded a new watch face. It's Valentine-y. It's got hearts on it. <laughs> I'm excited about that. But, yeah. Anyways, tomorrow's Monday. Also, I'll check out my vlog channel, No Catch Your Name Life, because I'm doing a update. And I actually did lose weight this week. I'm, I'm excited. I think my... Um, lady issues is what held me up the last two weeks of not losing very much weight at all but i've lost a good amount of weight this week so i'm excited about that <laughs> and i have a vlog recorded i just haven't edited it edited it i gotta do that but i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in another video <laughs> bye guys